APIs and custom actions are the primary way that you connect your AI agent to the rest of your external data. And this external data could be customer information, meeting availability, even weather forecasts. This video will take you through the basics of using APIs and custom actions. And the following videos will help you set up your own custom actions and how to use the results within your AI assistant. I'm Carson Long from Synthflow. Let's get started. Application Program Interfaces, or APIs, allow you to access data from external sources within your AI assistant. And this is important because there may be all kinds of data related to your organization that you need in your calls. Imagine an API as your AI assistant sending a letter for more information. Your assistant doesn't know the name of the person calling them, but maybe you have that information somewhere else. An API is like your assistant writing down the information that they want, called a request, sending the letter to someone who knows that information, called the API endpoint, and then getting a reply with that requested information. That's the API response. Now, your AI assistant can use that information. Now, APIs can get a lot more complicated, but at a very basic level, it's all about transferring data. Your assistant can request information for use in the call or even send information elsewhere. But enough analogies, let's get into the SynthFlow platform. In our application, APIs are called Actions, and you can access them within the Actions tab or within the configuration of an assistant. Now, as a note, APIs are not created within the SynthFlow platform, they are only called from there. To use an API, you must know the API endpoint, what information should be returned, and any authentication details needed. But there's more on that configuration in the next video. Custom actions can run before the call connects, during the call, or after the call completes, depending on what you need done. A lot of the most common custom actions with our most common integrations are found in the template marketplace. You don't have to build everything from scratch. More on the marketplace later. But that's the basics of APIs. Let's dive into the next video and set up our first custom action.